Of course I understand. If you weren't feeling all right, then I'm glad you went home. Hey, quit worrying about me when you should be worrying about feeling better. I can always find another ride. It won't be hard. Worst comes to worst, I'm sure I could just crash here for the night. It's not like I'll be the only one. Yes, I'm sure. I'll be fine. Don't worry. I promise it'll all work out and I'll see you tomorrow when we all go out for a hangover breakfast, so long as you feel better by then. Sound good? <laughs> Alright, man. I'll see you then. Take care of yourself for me. Well, shit. Everyone else is either passed out or headed home. I doubt they're still here. If they were even here to start with. <sighs> and here I was, thinking that something was actually going to happen. That's what I get for getting my hopes up, huh? I should just give it up and call it a night. At least I didn't drink too much so I can still drive myself home and forget this ever happened. No, oh, hey. Sorry. Didn't see you there. I didn't know anyone was still awake at this point. Ah, I must not have seen you then. I've been out here for the past couple hours, and I don't think I've been in the basement since the beginning of the night. Which is kind of weird now that I think about it. I almost always end up hanging out with whoever's in the basement, since it's, you know, usually a bit more chill down there. You too, huh? Well, it seems like I was missing out then. Up here, it was a complete nightmare. I can't even begin to explain half of what was happening. Though I think a lot of it was whatever drinking game they had going. All I know is that somewhere along the way, they clogged the sink with bottle caps and managed to break two of the kitchen chairs. Oh, no, 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 no. Everyone was fine. No one got hurt. Well, at least not from that. And I think that they bought a new set of chairs a couple weeks ago since those ones are starting to fall apart. But I'll count it as a win. <laughs> oh yeah, it sounds like one of those disclaimers they put before movies. No drunk morons were harmed in this film. Or at this party, I guess. The same can't be said for the chairs, but at this point... I'm just glad I didn't have to drive anyone to the hospital. That would have made for a really shitty night. Yeah, I uh, offered to be the driver if anyone needed one. Lucky for me, no one did. How about down there? Was the basement any more fun than up here? But boring? I can't say I thought boring would be used to describe a party like this. What all was going on down there? Really? That sounds like a lot of stuff. None of that interested you at all? Not even the historical documentary their roommate put on? Oh yeah? What were you looking for? Ah, I gotcha. And I guess it would be better to ask, who were you looking for? So you were hoping to meet someone here? Someone you've met before? Hmm. Is it someone that you're with, or that you're, like, talking to? Oh, someone you want to be talking to. I see. I'm gonna guess that you didn't find them. Shit, sorry, I, I didn't mean for that to sound so mean. I'm not trying to be rude to you, I, I promise. I just meant that, you know, you aren't with anyone, and you came out here all alone, and you haven't left to go and find him, so I just kind of assumed that you hadn't seen him. Even though I really shouldn't be assuming things, I don't know you that well, and... Oh, thank God. I was so worried that I'd offended you. I have no idea how to phrase things in a way that's, like, socially acceptable. I mean, it's harmless until I go and hurt someone's feelings. 
I just asked you, point blank, with all the subtlety of a baseball bat to the face, if the reason you haven't found the guy you were looking for is because he isn't here. I mean, even though he isn't. I could have found a better way to say that. So you found him. He is here. That's... that's awesome. Ah, uh, well, I don't mean to stick my nose where it doesn't belong, but if you found them, then why are you out here all alone? Well, yeah, I'm not completely alone, but if you already found him, then why are you hanging out here with me? It seems like you're pretty into him, so I figured you'd want to go, you know, make some moves on him. I mean, he's inside, right? You said he's still here, right? What do you mean? Is he not here anymore? Oh, so he's outside then. Wait, then where is he? We're the only ones out here. What do you mean? How can you already be with him if you and I are the only people here? Uh, sure. I guess you can show me? I don't know what you mean, but go for it. Mm. 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 Uh, uh, hold on. Wait. You're the person who... Holy shit. It's me. You, you were looking for me. I mean, it is me, right? I, I'm, the, I'm the one you've been looking for? Oh, thank God. Because you're exactly who I was looking for. Seriously. I was looking all over for you. I thought I talked to everyone that walked through the door. How the hell did I miss you? The back door? Ugh, oh, I should have realized that. Their back door is in the basement, isn't it? And their stairs are so hard to get up since this house is old as hell. So the only way to get up here without getting hurt would have been to walk around and come through the front door. Which I'm gonna guess is what you were doing right now. And you were the one to think of coming up here anyway. I hadn't even considered seeing what was down there. <laughs> I can't tell you how happy I am that you're here. I was so worried that you didn't actually want to see me again and that you didn't come. Or that you did come and did find out who I was and you realized that you didn't want to see me again after all. Of course I was worried. I've been thinking about this party every day since we met. Do you know how many times I thought about kissing you? Trick question. I didn't stop thinking about kissing you. It was all I could think about most days. How you felt. How warm you were. The way your lips tasted. I just... It was the only thing in my head. Most of the time. Really. Every time I thought about you. About what we'd done together. I just... Couldn't stop. I wanted more. I want more. I want... You. Yeah, I really, really want you. I know we don't know each other all that well, but I had so much fun with you. And I want to spend more time together. The same as last? Oh, yes, I'd, I'd like that a lot. I mean, if you'd like to do that again, then... I'd like to kiss you more. I mean, I'd kiss you again, which technically is more, but I don't know if that's really an accurate way to say it, since... Mm -mm. Mm. Uh. Mm. Uh. Oh, um, can you uh, do that again? Please. It feels so good when you... Mm. 
Why does your mouth feel so good? It's so soft and warm and sweet, and I love it. Please, I want you to kiss me again. Please? Please? Yes. It's just as good as I remember. I... I think it's even better. Mm. 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 <sighs> this feels so good. I needed you so bad. I can't believe I get to do this again. I'm so happy you found me. I kept hoping and hoping that you would find me. And you did. And now I get to be with you like this again. Mm. 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 <sighs> Wait a minute. I... I need to catch my breath. You've got me running out of air over here. <sighs> Thanks. I just... Wow. Like... Holy shit. I mean, like... You. Damn. <laughs> Sorry, that made absolutely no sense, did it? I was just so excited that it was you. And that I got to see you again, you know? Yeah? Well, I'm glad to hear that. Though I'd appreciate it if you could at least pretend to be half as much of a mess as me. That's good. I'm glad to hear that I have that kind of effect on you, too. <sighs> hey, I, uh, I know it's pretty late, but since we're already here, do you want to hang out for a bit? We can spend some time just shooting the breeze, and getting to know each other a little bit better. And maybe, if I'm lucky, kissing some more. A lot more? Well, I can't say that I don't like the sound of that. I think I'd really like a lot more kisses from you, actually. Mmm. Mmm. Just like that. I really like that. Hey, so it may not be the most conventional thing ever, but would it be alright if this was our first date? I get so scared on first dates, but right now, here with you, I feel like it's the perfect time and place for a first date. I mean, considering everything else about our relationship so far. <laughs> so, how about it? Do you want to have our first date under the stars while we steal jello shots from the kitchen and watch that blow-up flamingo decoration in the neighbor's lawn deflate? Yeah, that sounds good. Perfect. Then how about... We go grab a couple drinks and see what food's left over. And while we do that, you tell me about yourself. If you want, we can even make a game out of it, if you're up for some 20 questions. I hope it's not too weird to say this, but I think this is going to be the best first date ever. Hello everyone, if you want to hear the final and very spicy not safe for YouTube part, you can see that on my Patreon. Go check that out if you're interested. Otherwise, thank you all for listening. Goodbye!